Let's see this question. We're given this equation 2 raised by a equals to 3 raised by b. And we want to evaluate 4 raised by a plus b divided by b. Right. So if you want to rewrite, let's rewrite this expression. So 4 is 2 squared. So we can write as 2 squared. Then raised by a, right, then raised by b, then same thing, 2 raised by square raised by b, then everything together raised by 1 over b, right? So it can be rewritten this way. But how would this help us? Let's see this. So if 2 raised by a, let's multiply by 2 raised by b on both sides, of course. 2, 2 raised by b. So on both sides of the equation. And then the left hand side, they write as 2 raised by a plus b. The right hand side, we can write as a 2 times or 3 times 2, parentheses raised by b. <clears throat> now, so that's just a two, 3 times 2 is a 6. So we can write this one as 6 raised by b. This one is b. But then we need raise both sides by 1 over b. So we get 2 raised by a plus b divided by b, right? Because 1 over b times a plus b can be written as a plus b divided by b. That equals to, well, b times 1 over b, that's 1, equals to 6. But we need a base to be 4. So we just raise this by squared. We'll read this by squared. So 2 raised by a plus b divided by b, then raised by squared. We can't apply this square to 2. So we can write as 2 squared then raised by a plus b divided by b. And that equals to 6 squared. So that's a 4. So 2 squared is 4. It's 4 raised by a plus b divided by b. 6 squared, 36. So that's it. That's our answer. So this expression equals to 36.